Are you planning a trip to Florence? But you don't have much time to see all the sights and maybe you're feeling a little bit lost on what to do, see or eat. Well, look no further because this is my full guide on how to spend 24 hours in Florence. Buongiorno, curious gang and benvenuti a Firenze. This means welcome to Florence, the city of romance, the birthplace of Renaissance and also the hometown of works of Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. And if you're wondering, is there some good food in here? Yes, 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 you're totally right. There is tons of delicious food in the city. We are here together with the man behind the camera, Ben. Hi, everybody. He actually used to live in Florence. Once. And I am asking him, what's your favorite place for breakfast? He's like, I don't know. So we are actually going with one of the places which I found. And we are here to one very old pasticceria, which I can already see Ben's face, it's like kind of judging but we're still going inside because I heard a lot of great things about it. Here is Ben judging. So I was wondering from which year is this place? It's from 1943. And one of the most typical things which they have, it's called bombolone, which is pretty much a donut. Do you guys drink coffee in the morning? I literally cannot start my day without it. We want to taste this, taste this. Okay. Mm, yeah. And they bring it warm. Oh, yeah. Four. So, 20 minutes of waiting for this. No, it's not hope 20 it's, minutes. Hope it's worth it. And I hope this is not all the cream that we get. On the metal? The real question is, is there feeling inside? Oh, God. I'm, I'm sure there is, you know? I'm really anxious if this, if this is filled with something because it's really light. It's light. Oh, God. Go ahead. Ow. No, so like the only feeling is the topping. <laughs> I read quite a lot of good things about it online, but I would say it's more of a tourist trap, so it's not Vasiji approved. Because I know you're curious just as much as I am and I don't want to waste your time, I will directly take you to the cathedral Santa Maria del Fiore. Here we are! And it's full beauty. Sort of, this is this is the back. <laughs> And it's full beauty on the back, but I would say it's still really, really pretty. Of course, there is so much that has to be said about this Duomo, the jewel of Florence. But let me tell you, the funniest thing for me is that I have a photo from here, from five years ago, wearing pretty much exactly the same clothes, and you can see the photo here. I have a fun fact for you guys. Do you know that until 1881, this used to be the largest cathedral in the world? And also, do you know how many steps there until the top? 463. Can you believe that? What are you doing on the floor? Pretty comfy. I think I'm just missing a pizza to be a real local in here. Well, let's get some pizza then. I'm yeah. starving. And in case you didn't find the previous fun fact funny, let me try again. Well, guys, do you know that this Piazza della Repubblica actually used to look completely different until the 18th century when the consul decided to widen the, scla the square and clean up the center, which basically meant that it was torn down. Hello, Ben. Oh, hi. Hello, hello, Curious Gang. What are you most excited about from today? Definitely the Fiorentina tonight. It's gonna be delicious. Tell us, what is a Fiorentina? Fiorentina is a T-bone steak and sometimes it's dry aged, I guess. And it's really tasty and I really like it medium rare. Two minutes walk from here, it is the market. And if you know me and all the videos that I make about markets, you'll know that most of this will be one of my favorite places in here. I mean, I hope so. I just hope it's not too touristy. And you can find leather goods not only here at the market, but pretty much anywhere around the city center. And this is because the city is actually quite famous for its leather goods and the old uh, antique leather school. But I have to tell you, I just got a new bag, so I'm pretty happy with it and I didn't buy anything. 
And the deal with this piglet is that you put a coin into its jaw and once it falls, if it goes into the water, means you're in good luck and you'll be returning to Florence. Okay, I have to say this was a little bit embarrassing because there were, it feels like a performance in front of the stage. There are at least 30 people looking at you, so I was like, uh, a little bit embarrassed, but you know, it's the tradition and of course I want to come back to Florence, so I had to do it. You vegetarian friends, I'm telling you, this place, it's not really for us because literally everything typical in here contains meat. For the meat lovers, I think it's paradise, like Ben. And behind me there is another typical place for Florence. It, may, it has street food and it's called Antica Porcheteria. And guess what it makes? I'm sure it must be something veggie, right? After all the typical meat dishes. Well, not really. And this is how it looks. It's literally an entire roasted pork, but I didn't try it. And Ben told me that he prefers the sandwich, which is called Lampredotto. So we actually didn't get this one. Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> one of the first local things that we are doing is like, we got some food and we're sitting in Supermarket here. Supermarket on a budget. Supermarket food and we're gonna have lunch in here. Even though I actually got um, beans with uh, shrimps, which I wouldn't necessarily say is the most budget-friendly option because it's three euros and it's quite a small portion. Just to pay for it. Then what are you doing? Oh. How is it? Oh, it's okay. Is it better than the one you had for breakfast? Uh, it's the same, sort of. It's okay. There's cheese missing here. Oh, well. We just have tons of sodomy. Okay, I guess it doesn't really look so appetizing, but it's kind of a salad and I want to keep it light. By the way, look at all the oil. <laughs> it's like really, really oily, but it's okay. Olive oil here is great. What we just had, it was kind of an appetizer before we actually get to the real part of this lunch, which is the gelato. <laughs> We went to this place called La Strega, but I have to say like gelato pretty much anywhere in Italy, it is delicious. You just have to make sure you buy it artigianale, so it is actually artisanal. And don't forget to try the pistachio flavor, which is my favorite. I always, always get it. One thing which I love about Florence, it is how walkable it is. So two minutes after we had this gelato, we already went to see the David by Michelangelo, which is placed here outside of Palazzo Vecchio. And on the other side, you can also see the Nettuno by Amanatti. Do you know that for a very long time actually there wasn't another bridge that was connecting the two sides of the city? Oh, interesting. Yes, and another fun fact, this is one of the few places which wasn't destroyed during World War II. And in case you didn't get it guys, this was supposed to be another fun fact, but yeah, I know you're kind of tired of this not so fun fun fact. But let me try again. Do you know that before this was more of a regular market and you could find any sort of product, but nowadays they sell only jewelry. We're just relaxing close to the Palazzo Pitti because let me tell you, it's been quite a while that we went out and at this point we are so tired that I don't even think that coffee can help us. But we still had another coffee because you know it's just one euro and it gives you infinite energy, but only for one hour. The main thing here is the Fiorentina, which is you know a big steak, a T-box steak, and different places have different prices per kilo. So here is 48, but I've also seen 100 per kilo, which is insane. And this is the famous Fiorentina, and what shocked me the most is that they first, first brought it completely raw on the table to ask us if we like it, and yeah, this is how big it was. I don't know much about meat, but I have to say everyone loved it and three people managed to finish that.
And this is my guide to how to spend 24 hours in Florence. I really hope you enjoyed it guys and I will see you in my next one. Love you all. Bye. And don't forget to subscribe.